paint chips, scratches, and a worn appearance can help to tell a story and bring your models to life. Today we'll focus our attention on AK's worn effects. This formulation of chipping fluid is specifically designed to create small size scratches, blemishes, and scuffs. The worn effects comes in a 35 milliliter bottle and can be used directly without thinning. Application of the worn effects is best done using an airbrush, generally two layers, waiting for the first to dry before applying the second. Once dry, the only tools that we will need to activate the worn effects is water, an old brush or two, and a scrubbing motion. Today we're going to take a look at how to produce a very distressed camouflage pattern on this vehicle here. We're going to start off by putting a base color down using AK Real Colors. And then over the dark gray base color, well I'll just lighten the colors slightly just to add some interest to the final presentation. And now with the base colors in place, it's time to add the worn effects. You can do this either with one layer or two layers. The more layers, generally the more pronounced the effects will become. The worn effects must dry completely before moving on to the next step, in this case adding the camouflage stripes. With the base colors and the camouflage colors in place, now it's time to activate the worn effects. With an old brush moistened with tap water, we can simply scrub the areas where we'd like to activate the worn effects, lifting off the top layer, the camouflage color in this case, to add to that distressed appearance. There is no need to hurry on this next step because the worn effects remains active and workable for hours, even into the next day. With the worn effects or chipping fluids, you can do as little or as much chipping as you would like. Simply continue working until you're satisfied with the results.